Good morning and Happy New Year to everyone. And we are so glad that you're here today with us. We are very excited about a couple of new products that we're going to be training on today. One of them is paper. Uh, and we're going to be training on this app for today, uh, which is a tutorial program for secondary students. And we're really excited to be here with you today. And we want to share a couple of things. This training is going to last you about an hour. We're going to have a sign-in sheet at the very end of our session. And we, this, we're not going to be offering in-service points for this one today, but if you need, uh, need them, you can do our GoGuardian one, which is going to be doing some, in, there's some training for that, for in-service points. So we're going to talk to you a little bit about our um, housekeeping tips. First of all, we've got our chat over there on the right-hand side. I have to make sure I always get on the right-hand side. You can ask your questions. We have people from paper from moderating, and we have people from the school district moderating as well. We'd like for you to like them, subscribe, because we're uh, trying to drive up our subscription numbers down at the bottom. And if you click the little bell, you'll know when we're having training. We've got four live streams today. This is one of four. And the moderators have little wrenches next to them, so little blue wrenches, so they'll be able to answer your questions, and we'll try to answer your questions as we go through today's training of paper. So this is designed for teachers, for secondary teachers, and it is a tutoring program that the district just recently purchased. This is going to be used to help tutor students during the day and after school uh, on their coursework. And so without any further to do, I'm going to turn over to our colleague at Paper, which her name is Robin. And Robin, thank you for joining us from the north. And uh, we'll let you get started. Yes, thank you, John. Um, I'm so excited to be here with everybody. Um, I am up in Philadelphia right now. It was snowing yesterday. So send me all the sunshine and warmth that you can. I'm super excited to be here today and talk to you about PAPER, which is an educational support system. So before I go into anything about PAPER, a little bit about myself. Um, my name is Robin and I am a former high school math teacher and um, an instructional coach. So I was up in the New York City area for the past 10 years and I'm really excited to share with you all about PAPER and how I would have loved to use this in my classroom as well. So. Um, feel free to ask any questions in the chat. Angela will be there um, to answer. And I will also have a quick Q&A at the end of this session today if we have some time. So really excited to jump right in um, and get started. So a little bit about um, our agenda for the day, just for the hour, not really the day. But we're going to talk about the bond between paper and Palm Beach. We're going to go through the paper experience. We're actually going to jump into a plat the platform and a live session today, and then we will have a discussion and Q&A session. So looking forward to it, and let's get started. So a little bit about PAPER's mission is we are here to provide equitable, personalized, and scalable academic support that serves every member of a school community, which really coincides with Palm Beach County's mission of educating, affirming, and inspiring each student in an equity embedded system. So we're all here to provide that equitable support. I'm really excited that paper is going to be a part of your school community. And I really wanna hear about how paper can support you in your endeavors to provide that equitable instruction for students. So if you can in the chat, take a minute and think about um, what has been some of the biggest challenges in providing support for every student in your classes. I know when I was teaching as well, there were always things that came up um, that hindered that support. So if you can type into the chat, that would be great. All answers are great answers here. I'm really excited to see um, what you guys have to share. Okay, so we have some manipulatives there. Thank you, Brad, for it. Um, contributing that in the chat. Anybody else have some um, challenges that have been coming up? Everyone's on different levels. Thanks, Sherry, definitely. Differentiation is a huge piece. Providing timely feedback and helping them improve their writing. That's awesome. Thank you, Elin. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Class size, students caring. Thank you, Sarah. 
Thank you, Lori. Dana, kids focusing and paying attention. Those are all things. And then Deborah, thank you. Getting kids to do their work when they're not in class. That has been one of the biggest challenges I had as a teacher as well. So thank you all for contributing those things. We're hoping that paper is going to help you provide some support in all of those areas. So a little bit about the paper experience. I see a continued of those comments coming in. So thank you so much. But we are here um, at paper. Our live tutors are here as your personal teaching assistant. We have 24 seven live chat tutoring, which you can see coming up on the right hand side of your screen. We have um, tutors that tutor in four languages. So English, French, Spanish, and Mandarin. We have over 200 subjects and topics that are available to be tutored on and unlimited annotated essay review. So Elin, when you're thinking about providing that timely feedback for essays and helping students improve their writing, now students can submit essays onto paper to get that feedback on their drafts before they submit them to you for their final grade. Going back to what Sherry said, supporting all levels of learners, and this is with a low lift from you. This is for you to tell students, yes, this service is here to help you get the support that you need. And our tutors are going to be here to support the students where they come in. So whether they are a low level learner or a high flyer, then our tutors are going to be able to push them to where they need to succeed. All of our interactions are recorded and transparent, and they happen throughout any time of the day. So that's talking about after school assignments. If they are unable to attend extra help with a teacher or need to work on something in the afternoon after they have sports or are helping out their families, then you are able to see every interaction that happens on the platform um, on your dashboard, which we'll be going through in a little bit. And we also want to help improve your work-life balance through in-class or after-school academic support. So as a teacher, I would have loved to use this as a station in my classroom um, or with um, independent practice for giving those students who want to advocate for themselves and get the questions answered immediately on, um, on the platform. Again, with doing work outside of school, this is here as an option to get the help that they need if they're stuck on a problem. Again, our tutoring sessions can last anywhere from two minutes to an hour or so, depending on the student's schedule. Now, a big thing about paper is our tutors. We have so many tutors out there. Um, they are full-time or part-time paper employees. They are on a schedule. They have been trained and vetted by our paper staff and have been background checked. Um, they have had to pass a content area exam to make sure that they are ready to support in all of the K-12 subjects that they have applied for. They are approachable, supportive, and patient, and you'll see that through the conversations that we'll be having on our live chat, as well as the conversations your students will be having. They're also committed to helping your students succeed. So again, they're going to start with the students' um, academic work, so coming with the teacher's resources to the session. Our tutors are not here to provide any direct instruction. They are solely here to support the learning that happened in the classroom by reteaching concepts or going over assignments that the teacher has provided. So the more guidance that you provide on an assignment, whether that be a rubric, directions, instructions, um, and then the student can provide that to the tutor, the more guided and targeted support there's going to be for your, for your students. Lastly, about our tutors, we use a variation of the Socratic method. So none of our tutors are going to be giving away any answers during that live session or even during the essay review. They're always going to be asking probing questions. So first and foremost, our tutors are going to see um, where your students are coming to the um, to the session with. So the students will provide that challenging concept or question. Then the tutors are going to see where the prior knowledge lies, identify any knowledge gaps, and then guide them through a series of questions to help them think critically um, about the topic or concept that they've learned in class. The tutors are going to clarify any points of confusion in order to 
ensure that conceptual understanding. And then the goal is for students to leave each session feeling more confident and independent when they are gonna be completing their classwork on their own. A really big point here is that tutors are not um, Google either. So we want open-ended questions. We want them to converse back and forth with our students and um, to ensure that there is that strong conceptual understanding um, to those concepts and questions. So now we're going to jump into the platform. I hope um, we're all we're all doing well now. Um, hopefully, Angela's in there answering any questions in the chat. Thank you for all um, your participation so far. But I'm really excited to get to show you what our platform looks like. So I'm going to switch over my tabs here to um, our paper platform, and I didn't show you how to log in because this paper login system is going to be directly in your district portal. So there's going to be a tile that looks like this um, P up in the upper left hand corner. And when your students log in for the first time, they're going to be greeted with a few prompts and messages that are going to ask them how they learn best, what subjects are they struggling in the most, and um, they get to pick a little avatar as well. You can see on the upper right hand side, um, they're going to get to choose that persona. And then our tutors are going to see if they're clicking on the math help button. Does that mean that they're struggling in math? Do they like math um, or are they more of a fan of English? So this is going to be um, our standard student dashboard. So again, there's always going to be welcome with the student's name in the upper left hand corner. And then at the top, you're able to choose between our chat feature and our essay review. Now, moving along to the right hand side, this is where the student's name will be and this button for uh, various languages. So before I said that you can we provide support in four different languages. So that's if we have a French speaking student who needs help in math, they would be able to click on Francais or Mandarin or Spanish. So all of our tutors, or most, some of our tutors are bilingual and are able to provide that support in various languages. So this would transform their entire dashboard into the language of their choice. And then they would be able to be matched with a tutor that speaks that language. Now, underneath that, students are able to watch an introduction video. So that's a quick one and a half minute video to let them know what paper is, as well as clicking on paper station. So paper station is um, an area for students on Canvas where they can dive in a little deeper to the platform. And this will take them through a few various activities, um, maybe some um, interactive presentations to let them guide through what paper actually entails. So if that's something that you are interested in allowing your students to do in class, that could be another option. Again, you can just let them know if um, it exists and that they're able to do that on their own time. Next on the right hand side, we have our help button. So this is on every one of our dashboards. You can ask um, different questions here and our articles will pop up. So sometimes there's options to make speech to text. So you may not want to um, type everything out. This has some options here where you can click on different links for finding out that information. If you haven't found anything on the dashboard or in our FAQ that is helpful, then you can leave a message and this will go directly to our support team and they respond within two hours typically. All right, so here we go into the fun stuff. So we have on the left hand side a question, what do you need help with? This is where students would engage with um, a live chat tutor. Now, there are a few ways that you can get connected to a tutor. This first is at the search bar at the top. So you would type your question here, you can attach a file, and our algorithm is going to pair a student, the student with the appropriate tutor. Another option is at the, the blue tile at the bottom, ask any tutor. So this is also going to just connect them directly to a tutor that they can ask their question to. That tutor will then match them with the appropriate um, tutor in that subject. Now, the rest of these tiles here, since all of our um, students are going to be synced through Clever, th their entire roster is going to show up on their dashboard. So 
if they are in Algebra 1, this would say Algebra 1, and then their Algebra 1 teacher, their name would be underneath it. Then if they clicked on Ask a Tutor, it would directly connect them to a math tutor. And so that's what we're going to be doing today. We are going to hop into a live session right now. I'm going to ask a math tutor a question, and I'm going to show you a little bit about the platform. So you can see here, I was connected in a matter of seconds with Camilo, um, and he's already starting to ask me how I'm doing today. I'm great. How are you? And you can see here that there's an emoji next to the bubble. So it's kind of like iMessage or any messenger um, that students may be familiar with. And I'm just going to say, um, give him a little thumbs up. How can I help you today? So since I'm going to be in a math session, I'm going to ask about solving an equation. So I'm going to first type it in here, 5x plus 5 equals 35, and I'm going to send it. But I also want to show you that you can send it through a drawing. So in every live chat, there's going to be a whiteboard where I can draw out and excuse my uh, mouse pad or trackpad writing here. I'm sure you all understand the struggles that are here. And I'm going to send that to the tutor. So now the tutor is going to have this interactive whiteboard that we can send back and forth. So again, Camilo is asking, what have you tried for solving this problem before? I'm not sure. I think I need to isolate X. So again, we're going back and forth and I'm actually going to continue on the same drawing. I'm gonna open it back up, draw. I'm going to change the color here and I'm going to make that green. And now I'm going to do the other steps. So for all the math teachers out there, this is going to be a really great tool for your students to converse back and forth um, on there. So again, if you have an option to send a file, you can actually draw directly right on the file as well. Um, and that goes for any reading comprehension example. If you wanted to annotate a problem, that's going to be back and forth between you and the tutor. Again, there are all of these different emojis that students can choose from to engage with our tutors. They can also send a file directly from their um, device as well. So going back and forth, um, this is what we can um, go back and forth with. And you can see that Camilo is engaging um, back. And there we go. He says with that we remove the positive five. Now to remove the five by multiplying, what should we do? So again, he's not say, telling me that I'm going to need to divide by five at the same time, but he's prompting me. I think I have to divide by five, but I also need to go. Thank you. And there we go. I'm going to end our session Um before I do that, I just wanted to show you that on the left-hand side, there is a history tab and you can see all of the previous sessions that you've had as well. So if there's a topic that you remember that you got help with, then you can click on that session and you can see that as well. So when students end a session, it's going to ask them to leave some feedback. I got the help that I need. And then it's going to ask about the rating of the session. So we had an A plus tutor. I am feeling more confident and they can leave a comment as well. This is great for me to see and to bring back to our tutors or to you as educators and your administrators to show all of the great learning moments that are happening here. So that encompasses our live chat session. I'm going to now show you a little bit about the essay review. So, when we have our essay review, you can access um, a new upload on the right hand side where it says upload an essay, or you can click view my essays if you've already uploaded something and you want to see if the annotated version is ready to go. So just to show you a little bit about the process for uploading an essay, um, we have where you can drag and drop a file directly from your computer or you can upload from your computer here. So that's what I'm gonna be doing right now. I'm gonna upload an essay on the scarlet letter. 
So here we go. You can start filling in your essay title, the language that the essay is in, and then the course that is also associated with the file here. Now, this is the most important piece, and we get a lot of teachers asking, well, how do I know that the tutor is going to provide feedback for students in the way that I want them to? And right here, your teacher's instructions. So it's a really great concept and idea for students to upload the document that has the prompt on them, the directions, and the rubric. So uploading the instructions directly from their computer is right here in that upload button, or they can copy and paste the expectations directly into this white box here. Additionally, underneath, if you provide comments to the student in, during the day that maybe aren't in writing or they need to focus on their transitional sentences from paragraph to paragraph, the student can type that also in the additional comments section. So that's a little bit about how what components you can use to upload an essay. I want to go back here just for a second. Um, when you're submitting a new essay, Right now, we accept files that are, are in PDF and doc format. We are working with Google right now to get a Google Doc integration. So if you only have a Google Doc, we have some steps on how to download that as a PDF in order to upload that. Again, you would answer a few questions that I just showed you um, in order to make sure that everything is clear and the expectations around the teacher side and the tutor side are um, married together. And then the essay will be returned within 24 hours of that submission. So we have been seeing some teachers put into their rubrics within for the first draft of their essay. You need to upload that essay into paper to get that um, additional points on the rubric. So we really want to remove that teacher workload of needing to read 120, 150 first drafts of essays. And we could really rely on paper to provide that feedback for you. Additionally, you're going to see in a second, our tutors are checking for plagiarism, and that isn't through any software right now, but they are noticing writing patterns and are trained to see um, if any language looks uncommon. So now once you do get that annotated essay back, the student can click on the essay and view the comments here. So again, the tutor will write a nice blurb, uh, a little overview of the essay right here. And you'll see here that it has been verified for plagiarize. If it looked fishy, um, this would turn into a red fish and it would say fishy at the bottom. So again, as a teacher, you are able to go into your students' um, essays and see the comments. You can download that annotated essay. So I'm going to download that essay right here. It's going to populate. And you can see here that the comments are starting to pop up as um, over the highlighted section. So Stephanie reviewed my essay and I wanna scroll down a little bit more and show you a little bit about what a comment can entail. So Stephanie, for example, here says expand a bit more. Hester was judged on the scaffold. How does Dimsdale recognize his act of sin? So really asking those probing questions to push student thinking rather than um, telling them what needs to be fixed. Again, if there's a spelling error or a grammar error, they would point out check spelling or check grammar um, in those ways. So again, back and forth, the, sec the comments will be highlighted and then students will be able to revisit their work and um, make those adjustments. Again, you'll be able to see those comments. You will know if the student has applied them or not. So that is a little bit of our essay review. Um, you'll see that it does say downloaded next to my essay, which means the student myself has received it and downloaded that essay. It would stay as reviewed if the student did not download that essay or look at the comments. So that's another piece here um, that you can keep a tab on. So that's really all of our student dashboard. Very simple. We have the left-hand side of our live chat, the right-hand side that is our essay review. Now, um, I'm hoping that we're all doing well and you're super excited to show your students some of these features. Um, 
we do suggest if you have time, I know there is very little time in your class periods, but if you wanted to show students what the platform is and how to log in, um, we do suggest that students engage with the platform at least three times to develop some habitual use um, into their academic routine. So this is a great way just to get started or to infuse it into your classes a bit. So I'm going to now switch over to the teacher view. And um, this is going to be your teacher dashboard. When you log in, this is what you're going to see. We have, again, that same welcome message. You have three options at the top here. They're not live chat or essay review. They are students and activity. Um, so we'll look at those in just a moment. But we also have intro videos for you to watch, which um, are about five minutes in total if you wanted to get a good another overview of what paper is or a reminder after this session. We also have an asynchronous PD called Paper Trail if you want to engage a little bit deeper or learn more about this um, platform, you can definitely click on Paper Trail and get a badge of certificate from there as well. In the right hand side, you will have your name. Um, you'll see here I have some additional access because I am um, a part of the paper team, but you will see in your settings, you will see view as a student settings and log out. So if you want to um, engage in a live session as a student, if you want to upload an essay and see what paper is all about, you are able to do that by viewing as a student. You also have the same help button on the right hand side as the students do. And then you have a knowledge base. So if you have a question or you um, need a resource or aren't sure how to incorporate paper um, or have a frequently asked question, you can click on any article in our knowledge base or search in our tab down here. So getting into the transparency of paper and what you're able to see. Now, again, I have a demo account right now. So my students' names are going to be um, on the left-hand side, but I'm not going to be having any sessions or essays right now because um, these are um, dummy accounts for our demo purposes. But you would see your students' names. You would see the number of sessions that they've engaged with, the number of essays that they have submitted, and then you'll see when, they're when they were last active. The last column is our flagging system. So the flags can happen for a number of reasons. A tutor would flag um, a student and a session if there were significant learning gaps that are happening and the tutor wants the teacher to be aware of the um, gap in the learning. So again, great for differentiation purposes and also for you to go back in for some targeted instruction based on those learning gaps. Um, additionally, flags happen for inappropriate behavior, language, or use of the platform. And then also we take the next step and flag for harmful behavior, whether they're indicating self-harm or harm to others. Our tutors will flag that session and a member of your district will be notified immediately. Doesn't matter if it's three in the morning or on the weekend, they will get that notification. So this is going to be your overview. You can then click on any student to see any sessions that they've engaged in. If you need to change um, a diff to a different period of the day, you would go to the section drop down menu on the right hand side and then click on a different class and that will populate into your um, section here. So let's say you wanna see, you're just looking at some activity that's been going on. You wanna look at a specific student. You can type in that student's name and all of their sessions will pop up. Let's just say you want to see over, I'm going to click all time, um, that any topic, any section, you just want to see what students are interacting with the platform um, on your behalf. So you'll see here that our sessions and our essays are going to populate, and then you'll be able to see the transcript. Um, so we are going to see exactly back and forth how the student and the tutor converse. You'll see that at the top, you'll, the tutor can make some comments and we'll also note where the student's question is. So if you wanted to see, you can jump directly to the question rather than scrolling through um, the, the whole entire transcript. 
and that's all there ready for you to view. Additionally, with essays, you'll be able to see um, these essays, and now you're seeing that these are our general comments. You can download the reviewed essay and see that um, everything is all in the clear here for any plagiarism. And that's really our teacher dashboard. That's how you're going to log in. You're going to see your students' activity. There's not much um, heavy lifting for you all to do. Your sole purpose is to let them know that this platform exists. And if you want to encourage that use in the classroom or out of the classroom, that's up to you and your decision to um, make for how involved you want to be with paper. But we really want this to be a personalized experience for you. So before we get into any q and I just have a few points that I'm going to head back to the um, slideshow for. So again, a little bit about what type of paper teacher do you want to be? We really want you to figure out how this fits with your instructional style. So let's say you're the data-driven teacher and you want to look through your transcripts. You do receive a monthly report at the end of each month that is going to give you an overview of the activity that happened in your sections. And then you can identify the, any instructional shifts that you need to make or identify um, students that you want to target small group instruction for or provide additional academic support in the classroom. Maybe you want to include paper into your classroom. I think I would have been a paper planner teacher. I would have figured out a way to use those one-to-one -one devices in the classroom um, and use live chat in my in-class lesson design. So whether that be a small group of students working on a project, they can log into a live chat with a tutor and ask for support as I'm helping students in other groups that maybe are a little at a lower level and need more of that person-to-person -person support. They can also log into uh, live chat sessions to brainstorm ideas about projects in ELA, history, and science. And additionally, maybe you are completely overwhelmed with all of the, everything going on in education right now. We totally understand that. And we're thinking, what's a low lift that you can do? You can add paper to your email signature at the bottom. You can remind students that this is here for them. You can add paper into your rubric or your instructions and any parent communication. Maybe during parent-teacher conferences, if students are struggling, you can suggest to parents, hey, remind students that paper is here for them after school hours um, if they do need support at home and the parents don't feel capable of helping their students at the same time. Um, additionally, maybe working on that work-life balance, you can put up an out-of-office email reply at some point throughout the night if you really want to disconnect and detach. And you can say, I'm not available right now, but paper is here to support you in any of your academic needs right now. So really looking forward to seeing how you all want to include paper into your, your lessons. But I'm here to um, open up the floor to any discussion that's happening in the chat and um, assist Angela in answering those questions as they're coming in. So again, in the chat, please put your questions and um, let me know if you have any ideas about how you want to integrate paper in your class or outside your class. This is a really excellent opportunity to share best practices as I, and ideas as um, I know you are the people that are right there in it and you may have some things that we haven't thought about necessarily. So um, I'll take a look at the chat as well and see if I can help answer any questions. Um, so can paper be used for SAT or ACT prep? Um, it can be. So again, when students are logging into those live chat accounts, um, you, students would just need to make sure that they tell their tutor that this is for ACT and SAT prep, um, and they'll be able to then pull from some curricular resources for helping with text taking strategies or answering those styles of questions and pushing them to go through all of the same steps that you would as a teacher. Are there activities to help students with reading comprehension? So right now, our platform is solely based on activities given by the teacher. So if, let's say, you gave a prompt or a passage that you want students to read, they can upload that reading prompt or passage with the tutor, and then they can converse back and forth around strategies for, um, for completing that reading comprehension strategy. 
Um, can students, so there will be tutors for AP classes also, specifically science. Yes, we do have tutors that are here for um, AP class support. We, I can provide a list of all the topics that we do have um, here. How would you suggest to motivate students who need a lot of help but don't like to ask for it to log into this platform? So I think for me personally, I was a quiet student in class. I never liked to ask questions. And this was a platform that felt like to me, it would be a safe space that I wouldn't need to feel judged or um, need to ask out loud and have other people hear my question. This is really one-on-one -on -one support. And so we really find that students are more apt to ask those questions in a chat style rather than even a video style. So paper originally had a video component, but it came to that students weren't using that and they felt a lot more comfortable with this chat-based feature. And so I'm sure you're seeing that if when you were doing remote learning that students weren't keeping their cameras on and they participated through the chat more readily. So um, we have been seeing that there's been a lot of success in the chat-based tutoring platform and really pushing students who are shy to use it as well. Will I only be able to see if a student clicks on my name and subject before they ask a question, or will I be able to see if they have used the general search as well? So once the student is in the general search section and they then are tagged with the, um, the subject that it's going to be in, then I believe it does coincide with your name since you are that subject's teacher. Um, can students submit handwritten essays or do they have to be typed? They do, I do believe that as long as it's a PDF version that they will receive comments and feedback, but um, typed essays are the preferred method um, for our submission. I think I'll be putting a reminder in Google Classroom in my helpful links. I love that so much. That's a wonderful idea, Stacey. Um, and when you post homework with the due dates to prompt them in case they forget in the moment, that's wonderful. Um, I really love that idea. It's a low lift from you and it's gonna be up there um, for as a reminder. That's wonderful. Thank you for that suggestion. Are there any other suggestions um, or ideas about integrating paper into your classes or into your um, outside of class time. I think I did see Brad ask, have students put paper on their student dashboard? Um, wonderful, so I, I believe that means I'm not sure if that's a question or a comment, but Brad, uh, students have paper on their district dashboard right now. And um, I believe there should be some ways to include that on their dashboard in Google Classroom as well. Any tutoring available for industry certification exams such as Adobe Photoshop, Illustrator, and Dreamweaver? I don't believe right now that we have um, tutoring available for that, but I will definitely make a note right now and I'm gonna ask our service team to see if there's anything in the works for that because that would be a really great idea. So thank you for suggesting that. Um, again, if you do have any suggestions or things that you feel our platform needs in order to better serve you and your students, please let me know. Um, we really love taking feedback and implementing any product suggestions. So I'm writing that down now and Pat, I will get back to you um, once I find out that information. So industry certification, great. Okay, so um, is paper available for all level students? Yes, so paper is available for all levels of students um, because of priv student privacy, um, Tutors do not know the level or the grade level that students are um, associated with. So our tutors are really there to assess what level are they coming in with and where can I meet them? So there's no um, preconceived notion about the content level that they should be coming in at. Our tutors are going to be um, supporting them in wherever they fall on that K to 12 span. 
Um, Dana also said due to COVID taking away a lot of students opportunity to sit for the graduation requirement tests, can there be some sort of resources for those students to prepare? So those are definitely, um, since our platform right now is just the communication back and forth, if you provide those resources for the um, end of course exam or the Florida State Assessment, then um, our tutors will be able to support students in getting ready for those exams um, as well. Are physical education topics available? That's a one, uh, Angela, I'm wondering, are physical education topics available? That is something I haven't heard of before, but um, Lori, I will get back to you on that as well. That's a great idea that I'm not sure off the top of my head. Um, are, is there support for AICE teachers or AICE classes? I'm not sure what that acronym stands for, but if you can type that in the chat, that would be great. Faith and Dana, yes, psychology, sociology, there are tutors available for those subjects. Thank you, Angela, for looking at those PE topics as well. All right. Oh, thank you for that update. Um, it is on the district portal and you can take a look today and log in and play around with how you feel, how you see your students are going to be interacting with the platform and thinking of ways to um, get your students on there. We will be pushing out some um additional activities that you could be using in the first couple of weeks. We are launching this entire month and want to see that usage up. Um, so OAICE is Cambridge Advanced International Certificate of Education. Um, I will have to look that up because I am not familiar with that. But thank you, Marcella, for, for putting that in there. Um, and I will look into that. Is tutoring available for our high school students who are enrolled at the local, dual enrolled at the local college? So um, Diana, so tutoring will be available for those students. They will be rostered only for the classes that are within the high school, not at the local college. But if they click on the ask any tutor button, they'll be able to be um, connected to a tutor for any of their dual enrolled classes that they do take at the local college. It just won't show up specifically. These are all wonderful questions. Thank you so much for, for asking those. Um, let's see, were there anything else that came up? Um, continue to put your questions in the chat here. Um, Lastly, before I turn it back over to John, um, we have some suggestions on how you can get started. So again, some of the things that we mentioned and then some of the things that you mentioned in the chat today. So adding information about accessing paper for homework help um, through your learning management system. So on Google Classroom is a great idea or in your email signature including essay review um, in your rubric for any projects or essay writing. And then same thing with um, live help. You can put that in your projects and with your open-ended tasks. Um, and again, integrating paper live help into your lesson design, whether that be independent practice at the, end, the last 15 to 20 minutes of your lesson um, and students are working on those problems, they can log in with a tutor and um, get some support as you're also circulating the classroom. Um, and again, with those small group activities. So we really do recommend a minimum of three paper um, exposures throughout a semester to include um, habitual use or encourage habitual use of, of paper. So that would be great. So really take some time to think about uh, how you would um, want to in, um, include that into your lesson. So again, thank you so much for your time. Our lastly, our point for if you do have extra questions that we didn't get to cover today, um, we do have paper pointers, which are discussions and webinars that are 30 minutes. Um, and you can find those on our website, paper.co and click on the teachers tab. You'll be able to sign up for those as well. 
Um, and again, my name is Robin. You can reach me at robin at paper.co. Um, feel free to shoot me an email if you have a question or you can um, pass that along to someone at your school site and I will be sure to answer that question for you. Um, I've had a great time with you today and thank you so much for all of those um, questions and comments in, in the chat here. Back to you, John. Thanks, Robin. Those were some great questions and stuff like that. One thing we wanted to mention is that your principals were sent an email that suggested they nominate one person from, every, from their school to be a paper pioneer, and they will have direct contact with paper so they can ask their questions directly to paper. But like Robin says, you can email her. She's feeling free to answer those questions. We have another paper session going on this afternoon. So if you go playing into paper and you want to come back and ask some questions, feel free to come back to our session. I think our session is this afternoon at 1 p.m. Oh, the, no, that's for Go Guardian. Uh, so we have two sessions going on for Go Guardian this morning, uh, one at 10 and one at 1. And then we have another session for paper at 2.30 this afternoon. So you can follow up with some more questions if you want to ask, look and do some research and then come back and ask some of those questions. So we want to thank you for joining us. We need you to sign in for the attendance. Please make sure that you uh, uh, check, click on the link in the chat. I think the link is going to be there. It is in the chat. It's bit.ly uh, slash paper attendance and it is case sensitive. So please make sure if you don't can't click the chat link uh, that you sign in for today's session so we know we'll have a record of you being at our session today. Uh, we really thank you for being here. Uh, we'll keep that link going in there and from the entire EdTech training team as well as the entire uh, educational technology team. We thank you for today and what you're doing for our students and we hope you have a great 2020. Thanks again.